Ryan Noon's magician. Um, he had an early start yesterday, late start tomorrow. Do you have a preference? Does it make a difference? You know, I like to, I like kind of like the four o'clock game where it's, you know, you're, you're <laughs> not too early, not too late, but it, it's fine. Whatever, you know, it, it's, it's good. Seven's fine. I'm good with that. Mike. Coach, with some schools, it's the celebration of getting in the tournament, some winning a game. You guys have won so much. Sweet 16 has been a place you've been a lot. Do you miss the time when it was, not that people won't be excited, but that celebration, if you were to win tomorrow, that some schools obviously would have more than maybe yours because you've put this team in this position so many times. Yeah, I mean, it's everybody has different expectations and different, you know, you know, goals or, you know, where they want to go and, uh, you know, it's it's just the way it kind of is. And uh, my my feeling is if, if we, you know, play well, whatever that game is, and if we, we lose, we lose, you know. I mean, and, and, and you might not play well. That's, you know, that's uh, just the way this, this tournament is. There's, there's no predicting it. Uh, there was no predicting that we would play the way we played yesterday. I, I thought that would be a difficult game coming into it. Um, things just went right for us, and and uh, you know the game changed quickly early. But you know you can't. Uh, the one thing you know is you get old like I am. You know you're gonna. You know there's gonna be. It's gonna be disappointing if you lose, and you know you just have to learn to live with it. I'm not sure I've quite learned that yet, but uh, I'm optimistic that at some point in time I might learn how to deal with it better, but uh, I don't know if you ever do, probably never do learn how to. So it's just, that's the nature of this tournament. It's just such a great, great tournament. It really is. It's, but it's such a f real kind of false indication of what you are because yeah, I remember when we won we were 18 points down to Oklahoma State and it was like one of those games you think well let's try not to get beat by 30 here and you know we came back and, and won uh, but uh, and that was the biggest scare we had in the tournament but you know you just never know you could be out in that game and, and uh, not be able to go on and do what you did Any other questions for Coach? we got one over here. Uh, Jim, hi. Tom Archdeacon from Dayton. I, I just wonder what you know about Archie Miller, a uh, young, co a real young coach, and he's younger than you've been. You've well, been I've sick. known him a long time. I saw him on the Tonight Show when he was six. So, <laughs> uh, you know, he's uh, he's a great coach. I think he's done a great coaching job. I was. I said early in the year when we saw him, you know, you watch teams on TV, you get a certain feel, but when you watch them in person like we did in, in Maui, which you can't do that anymore, of course, you can't scout people anymore, but we watched them over there because of the tournament. And I'm just impressed with how hard his team plays, um, how they play together, um, you know, just a really, really well-coached team and, uh, it's uh, he, he's done a, a tremendous job coaching that team. Okay. Uh, oh, Jerry, keep us going. Yeah, keep Jerry it going. Jerry Sullivan again. Do you have any theories on shooters? Because uh, why they get on streaks, off streaks? Why well, a guy like Cooney is suddenly well, making them? Well, you know, most shooters I find I, I like the ones that don't think much. Or maybe can't think much is even a better description because they just forget things and they forget what happened or what didn't happen. They just get the next shot. And the best shooters are those, those are the guys. They just get the, they just, they want that shot. They're going to take it and they don't think about anything except getting that shot up there and they think they're going to make every one. And that's what the great ones do. Um, you know, they just, you know, get in that mode. Uh, you know, there's not really a lot of great shooters. I mean, guys that 
like Reggie Miller, you know, if he gets 10 shots, he's going to make, on a bad night, he's going to make four, and on a good night, he's going to make seven. You know, I mean, there aren't many guys like that. There's very, very few like that that can really shoot the basketball that way. Um, but, uh, you know, you watch, like I watched Kevin Durant and Carmelo during the Olympics. I mean, these guys make 18, 19 out of 20 threes in shooting drills. You know, I mean, college kids, like, they make 10. That's, you know, they're, they, 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 we call them great shooters. These guys make 19 out of 20 like 10 times. <laughs> you know, if they, make, if they make 15, if Kevin Durant makes 15 out of 20, you want to look at the ball because there's something wrong with that ball there. <laughs> it's just not right, you know. But uh, those guys, they go up, they, they believe they're going to make every shot. And uh, the worst thing is when a shooter starts thinking about it, and some shooters, you'll see them change their shot a little bit. They'll guy try to aim it a little bit, and those guys are never going to be good. You know, you got to get set. You got to take the same shot every time. That's the really the key to being a great shooter. You watch the the great shooters; they shoot the same shot every time. And uh, too many guys don't. They're moving. They're sliding. They're not different. You know, things. But. Uh, Trevor's a really good shooter, and I'm confident that when we get him good shots, you know, he's going to make them. I'm very confident of that until the game's over with, and he doesn't. Anybody else with any other questions for Coach Beheim? Okay, thanks. Not, thank you, sir.